and it's time for another basic beer review. And this time we have got a bottle of the Ziviets Porter. And it is from, I uh, got this from the Sun Market in Preston, which is a Polish supermarket, which has got some great stuff and also some really good, Pol loads and loads of Polish beers and other beers as well. And, you know, if you're ever in the neck of the woods, I'd recommend checking it out. It's basically, um, so it's got this. It's one of the few places that I've been able to find this. Um, last time I went, they didn't have any. I thought that was it then. I wouldn't be able to have this anymore. But it's back in. It's the Ziviets Porter. I've not had this for a while. It's a Baltic Porter. It is 9.5% ABV. And um, it's a 500ml bottle. So um, it's quite a lot of units in this. Um, I am not going to lie, but <coughs> I've got a nice glass for it, <clears throat> by Hopper's glass, gonna crack it open and get it in the glass, so here we go, let's get it in this glass, also we'll get some of it in there, so it's pouring, very dark brown colour, bordering on a black, not much of a head there, we'll get to about there, put the bottle here, and there we go. So we are, yeah, so, yeah, it's basically pouring, it's pretty much pouring a jet black with a nice light brown head on it, quite a small head, one finger at most. Um, yeah, I mean, it looks looks really thick. It looks no light passing through that whatsoever. Hold up to the light and it's, yeah, it just can't get any light through that at all. It's absolutely jet black. Um, let's give it a little swill. Let's uh, see what the nose is. Straight away, boom, strong chocolate, but dark, bitter chocolate on the nose. Get a little bit of smoke there. Bit of burnt toffee. Getting coffee. Getting coffee, but a lot of that really bitter, dark chocolate. Really sort of high cocoa content chocolate there. Really good quality. There's like really nice smell as well. Really sort of um, authentic smell. There's no synthetic smells in there at all. It just smells lovely. It smells chocolatey and fudgy. A little bit of a uh, little bit of kind of blueberry and dark fruits in there. It's got quite yeah. It's got a very nice aroma indeed. It smells it smells like a porter, but um, kind of amped up, like a lot stronger. A lot more of those flavours. And I say, we're getting dark fruits, we're getting blueberry, we're getting um, bitter dark chocolate, bit of coffee, bit of burnt toffee. A little bit of caramel on the nose there. Smells absolutely delightful. It smells really nice. It smells like a really good Imperial Stout, to be honest. Okay, I think I've finished smelling it now. We're going to go in for the old taste and see what that's like. So, cheers. So, very smooth on the mouth, actually. Looks like it'd be slightly more carbonated that, than that, but it has got a really smooth mouthfeel. A lot of bitterness on the tongue there, a lot of bitterness. Um, still there, I can still feel that bitter. The bitter dark chocolate, I think, is the that's the big flavour here. Um, because that is really, really hitting. That And the strongly roasted coffee as well is on there as well. He has a little bit of sweetness there, but it's well, there's not a lot of sweetness. It is quite bitter, but it's bitter. It's a bit sharp, um, but it is smooth. It's very bold. It's very bold, and I don't mean that in a bad way, in a good way. It really hits you in the face, saying, "I'm here. This is me." And it is. You've got the. You've got roasted malts there. You've got. Um, I say you've got bitter dark chocolate. A lot of that. You've got your roasted coffee. And 
I'm not getting anything in the line of dark fruits on the flavour. That's just in the smell. But it is, it's good. If you like him a little bit more on the bitter side, then this is this is what you want really. And it's not an it's not an horrible bitterness, not an astringent bitterness, it's a it's a like a bitter roasted coffee bitterness or a bitter dark chocolate bitterness. It's not an unpleasant bitterness. But it does dry your mouth out somewhat. But it is just yeah, it's a, it's nice. I mean this is a little bit colder than I would normally drink it. Imagine when it's warmed up a bit, it'll be a little bit a little bit less harsh, a little bit smoother. But as these kind of things goes, as these kind of things go, it's really good, really bold in flavour. It's a little bit more, I say a little bit more bitter, bitter, a little bit more, um, a little bit more sort of, I'd say, vibrant than an imperial stout. Um, but that's no bad thing. You know, it is. It's like a porter amped up to to nine point five percent. But it is really nice. It's really nice. It's really flavourful. It's. Um, I'm, I'm really enjoying it, to be honest. I'm really enjoying it. It's, um, I say, there is, I, I would say, there's quite a lot of that bitter dark chocolate in there. If you like that, if that's your cup of tea, then absolutely brilliant. I can't remember how much this was now, but it was, I think it was somewhere in the two to two pound fifty mark, which is an absolute steal at that price for something this quality, quality especially such a big bottle as well. I mean, 500 mil of 9.5%, that's some beer, that really, to be honest. So, so yeah, I mean it's amazing value for money. It really is. Um, it's a really good beer. Um, I would say it's right up there with with a lot of the ones, a lot of the really good imperial stouts I've been drinking. And it's yeah, and it's a steal, and it's great if you can get hold of it. Absolutely brilliant. There's probably other places that do this. Um, I imagine the Polish supermarkets are ones where you're probably most likely to find it, but you'll probably be able to get it online and stuff like that. I'm not sure if bottle shops, I've not really seen bottle shops with it in, but you never know, you might get it in there. But as I say, it is good, um, it is a cracker, and it is highly recommended from me. So, there you go. Until next time, have a good one.